Hello, 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 everyone. I am Tanya Thompson. I am a realtor with Clark Premier Realty Group. I'm here with my colleague, Brianna Clark. And we, today we will be discussing the... Um, we will be discussing the two... We will be discussing the two rent-to-own uh, programs that we are certified in. All of our agents are certified in both programs, and we are looking forward to working with um, renters who are looking to become buyers. We will get started right now. Brianna, introduce yourself. Thank you so much, Tanya. Um, so sorry, everyone. I'm having technical difficulties, but I'm super excited to get this info session started and get the information that everybody has been asking us about. So um, I will introduce myself. I'm Brianna Clark, licensed realtor in Maryland and D.C., um, and I'm productivity coach for Clark Premier Realty Group. Um, and I think that that pretty much sums up my, my role on the team. Tanya. So a little bit about our firm. It is a boutique firm where we enjoy educating and empowering our clients. We uh, spend a lot of time letting our clients know everything that's going on in the transaction and making sure that they're fully empowered to make good decisions. Um, so to, in that regard, we are doing this webinar today to discuss the two rent-to-own programs that we are certified in. Uh, the first program that we have I'm certified and we've been working with them since at least 2018 and we have closed deals with them. Um, it's Home Partners of America and Brianna is going to go over that program. Thank you so much. So um, Home Partners of America is definitely my first love when it comes to a rent to own program. Um, I just want to talk about some of the key factors that go into your Home Partners of America application. So Home Partners of America looks at your income for the household. They will look at your credit worthiness. I don't really want to say your credit score because as you can see on the slide, the minimum credit score is not specifically um, stated. They will kind of look, take a look at your DTI. So that is your debt to income ratio, just to see how much rent you should be able to afford. Um, this program, just like Landis, will purchase a property that you pick and then the household will lease it from home partners um, until they're ready to purchase. So for Home Partners of America, the rental period in Maryland is up to five years. Um, in, a, in other states, specifically Texas, is up to three years. But this program is in all the other states. So as I mentioned before, the minimum credit score is not specifically stated. However, good credit is a good start. <laughs> um, the minimum in income for this program is 40000 per year, but this is also per household. So what that means is if there are multiple people over the age of 18 that are applying, then they will kind of take you all and, you know, consider the details as a collective. The security deposit is two months rent. Um, and the rent amounts and what they will increase to are outlined up front. So um, with this program, we really, their motto is transparency. The right to purchase price is outlined for each year um, and what it will increase to as well. So the first question we usually get about this program or any rent to own program is does a portion of the rent go toward a down payment? For Home Partners of America, no. However, your security deposit, which is that two months rent, will go towards some of the closing costs. And you do not get a free financial coach, which is different from Landis. With that, I will let Tanya take it over with Landis. So like I said before, Landis is newer to our firm. It's a newer company that does her to own. It just came into the market. So one of the things that makes me so excited about it is that it was um, the, some of the primary investors are Will Smith and Jay-Z. They wanted to um, invest in this company to help people who were not quite in a position to purchase get in a position to purchase. So one of the, um, we're going to go down the slide. And so the initial application is free. 
Um, it is a soft pull on your credit. Both applications are soft pull on your credit, um, but the application fee for Landis is free and it will stay free. Um, <clears throat> the rental period is up to two years. Um, after the two years, if you are not in a position to purchase, you will have to move out of the property because Landis does plan to sell it. The minimum credit score is 550. The minimum income is $30,000. The security deposit is 2% of the purchase price. And so like Brianna said, um, they will buy a property that's in the market currently. So if you intend to buy a home that is $200,000, your security deposit would then be 2%. So 2% of $200,000 is $4,000. Um, this is really exciting because it's one of the questions that we get initially all the time when we talk about rent to own, a portion of the rent does go towards your down payment. So you get charged market rent, and then a portion of the rent does go towards your down payment. They save it for you so that you will be able to apply it to your down payment when it's time to purchase. And you can purchase any time inside of the two years. You don't have to wait until the second year. And during the two years, you get a free financial coach which to me indicates that the company is really invested in your personal finances and in your financial wealth. So um, I just get really excited about the program because I feel like they're really invested in the tenants, making sure that they have the financial background, the financial coaching and understanding of the process that allows them to complete it within the two years. So when, once the application is made, they want to make sure that you are going to be mortgage ready within the two years and they won't, give you an approval to go ahead until they feel like you're in that position. So if you don't get approved right away, you will get waitlisted. So I've had two people apply this week. One person got waitlisted and one person got to move forward. Um, we're really excited about being able to um, work with our clients to get them in position to buy homes. And I'm trying to see if there are any comments, which I don't see any. But what we wanted to know is do you guys have any questions? Um, Brianna, do you have any yeah. questions? I was I was like you, I was trying to see if we had any comments, um, but nothing yet. What I will say is um, I forgot to mention, although it is on the slide, the application fee for Home Partners of America is $35 now, where usually it is $75. Um, so lately home partners has been because it's the beginning of the year, they have been discounting the application fee in an effort to get more and more people to see if they qualify or not. Um, we have a question. Are you able to reapply if you're not at the point of buying after the two years? Now that's for Landis. That is a very good question. And what they will do is evaluate the situation at that time. And then they will determine if you will be able to continue to rent. So, um, it's not definite that you will have to move, but they will reevaluate the situation. And if you're not closer to being mortgage ready, you may have to move because you're not in position for them to be able to recoup their investment. Correct. The trend so, is to know how to get more info. Okay, so how you get more information, um, you could either reach directly out to the agent that um, invited you or if there was no specific agent that invited you, um, anybody that left a comment on this live, we are going to send a follow-up uh, message with a link to have more information for both um, programs. Perfect. So uh, the question that Ariana asked was about the two years. So I believe that she was asking about Landis. With home mm -hmm. partners at the end of the five years, you do not have the option to be reevaluated. At that point, you would have to move out if you're not right. in a position to purchase the property. Correct. Um, so with Landis also remember, they are hoping and really working for you to be in the position to purchase the property because they are going to give you a um, financial coach. Yes, I love this program. So when we were talking about <laughs> who was going to talk about this program, Brianna was like, you love Landis, so you should talk about them. Like, I love Landis mm -hmm. because I feel like it really works for the tenant. I feel like um, 
it's really looking out for the best financial interest of the tenant so that they're financially ready to buy before they even put them in a position of being rent to own tenants. And then during the two years, they continue to coach you to be ready and to be in position to buy the property. And that to me is very, very exciting. And so one thing that I do want to talk about is when you get to the point of purchasing <clears throat> with landers, you will pay a 3% premium over what they bought the property for. So if they bought the property for you at $200,000, then you would have to buy it from them for $206,000. Um, with Home Partners of America, their, um, their appreciation is between three and a half to five and a half percent, and it depends on the market that you are in. So, but what they do tell you from the beginning is how much your purchase price will be. So, mm -hmm. um, if you sign a lease today in year one, they tell you how much your purchase price will be in year two, in year three, four, and five. Each year is already determined before you um, sign the lease. So, you would know if you wanted to wait until the third year, how much you would have to purchase the home from them for. Right. And to purchase from them is a private sale. You won't need a realtor for that. Right. And another point um, for Home Partners of America, they do pride themselves on the transparency of everything. Um, and so everything is outlined. So the rental amount, and like I mentioned, the rental amount and what it will increase to at the end of each year is given to you up front before you uh, have committed to this property. Oh, and another thing, you are not obligated to purchase the property at any point or to renew your lease. So um, sometimes people have questions like, hey, if after the first year I decide I don't really even like the property how I thought I would, um, do I need to renew my lease? Do I have to stay the five years? Do I have to purchase the property? Is there any uh, financial penalty to not committing to this property? And for home partners, no. For Landis though, if you um, choose to not purchase the property, I believe there is like a basically like a buyout fee um, Tanya, can you speak to that a little bit? So Landis will charge you a 3% buyout fee because if you don't purchase the property, they will then have to list the property and have to have an agent to list the property and pay a commission to the agent. So they will charge you the 3% fee to get out of the property, at which point they will sell it on the open market. Um, and they, yeah. they will use your initial down payment to go towards that and the money that had been saved during your rental period. So if if you want to break it and not purchase the property, there is already the 2% that you put down for your security deposit and the additional that you've been putting towards your down payment every month. So it's possible that you could get out without having to pay more, but you would then lose the, the security deposit and the money that was supposed to go towards your down payment. And that's 3% of the mortgage. Um, we had that question too. So yes, 3% of the mortgage. Uh, another question, where are these properties located? So Home Partners of America and Landis will purchase properties um, that are on the market for sale in certain areas. Um, Landis doesn't specify what areas per se they will purchase in, but they do have requirements for the type of properties that they're going to purchase. So um, on the other hand, Home Partners of America has parameters around the, I guess the HPA approved communities, they call it. Um, <clears throat> so if the home that you're interested in is not in an HPA approved community, then usually they, they're not gonna buy it. For Landis, their guidelines are really that it has to be move-in ready. It cannot be built before um, 1978. I'm sure that's dealing with lead, but Home Partners of America also adopted that regulation for their program as well. So um, really what they're looking for is a property that's not going to be too much maintenance because they are going to try to address certain things for you, at least for Home Partners of America, I know they will do some upfront, uh, basically renovations if, if it's within reason. Um, so if you need new carpet, they'll do that. If you want newer appliances, they will do that. They'll freshen up paint and stuff like that. 
Um, so they don't want any fixer uppers. <laughs> They're not going to purchase that. And really, you have to think they don't want to purchase anything that is going to be difficult to rent out or sell um, if you don't move forward with the property. I just want to say that um, both home partners and landers want to buy properties that are in planning unit development, meaning that it has to be in the neighborhood. So they won't purchase a property that is in a rural area that is not um, in a neighborhood because they won't be able to get an accurate um, estimation of the appreciation or the value of the property. Another thing is, so I am currently located in Frederick County, Maryland. So there are a lot of homes that are in rural areas. So when you look at the map for either one, landed or home partners, there will be a significant portion of Frederick County properties that if they're not in a um, designated neighborhood that they wouldn't be eligible for this program. Um, but the majority of Montgomery County and Prince George's, Prince George's County are eligible. And for either program, Washington County is not on their map. So we just want to be um, clear on where we would be able to purchase these properties. And the purchase price for the properties with landed is between $110,000 and $400,000. And I believe the max purchase price for Home Partners of America in this market uh, is $500,000. So it's a little bit higher. But if you think about it, um, it all evens out because both of these programs in this competitive market, they may or may not need to offer a little bit over the asking price um, to be competitive and get the offer accepted. Um, they may need to do that or may not because they are making a cash offer, which is a huge benefit because in any bidding war with properties that are for sale, cash is better than an offer that where there are contingencies surrounded around financing and a third party lender and all those things that you have to deal with. So they are gonna make a competitive offer on a property that you chose and the chances of that offer being accepted are kind of high. I do wanna point out one other thing. Neither of these investment companies will purchase a condo. So it needs to be a single family home, or a town home that does not have condo fees. Oh, and um, I was asked to repeat the last part about the max amount um, that Home Partners of America will purchase, and their max amount is five hundred thousand in this market. Perfect. So these are some really great questions. Um, feel free to throw in some more as we kind of think of the last like final details, the max purchase amount. Brianna did touch on the um, market being very attractive for buyers. Um, with land, if there are contingencies with the purchase, um, their purchases are always contingent on appraisal and inspection. So in this market, sometimes, cash buyers will buy a home without doing an appraisal or without doing an inspection. And in this case with land is that is not the case. So um, there are contingencies for our purchase with land is, um, but it's still competitive because it is a cash, cash purchase. And they close within 21 days. Yes, so both programs are now at 21 days for closing, which is super awesome um, and competitive in the market that we're in because they're closing with cash. Um, they can close in less than 30 days. Um, the only thing is it is a drawback, but there is contingency surrounded around inspection and appraisal. Hmm. I'm not seeing any more questions. I believe that we have covered really everything associated with the program. Maybe we can talk about, so we can talk about how the process of purchasing the property. So once you get approved by either Home Partners or Landis, they will give you a pre-approval amount and you will go out with one of the agents to look at homes that are in your price range and they will show you the properties. Um, 
And once you find one that you want to put an offer on, we will submit a contract through the investment company, and they will then um, <clears throat> they will then uh, be the ones who sign the offer, and we will submit the offer to the listing agent, and then we will wait to hear back to see if our offer is approved, very similarly to if you were a traditional buyer. So we did have a couple of additional questions. Um, will debt ratio be an issue to qualify or is it based solely on credit score? So for both programs, they will consider your debt to income ratio as a way to kind of determine how much rent you can afford. So if your credit score meets their requirement, um, as well as your debt to income ratio, then they will use that DTI to determine, okay, can you afford $2,000 a month or can you afford $2,500 a month? Um, or are we looking at $1,400 a month? They will kind of determine that um, using that DTI. That's a good question. Another question, can the appraisal and inspection be handled by the program or be included in the down payment. So I want to kind of touch on that a little bit. The appraisal and the home inspection is going to be handled by the program. Why? Because the program is the one that is purchasing the property. So it that is going to be handled like a standard sale with the program. The only difference is at the end of them purchasing the property, they will begin a lease with you um, or the, you know, the household that applied um, and it'll be a standard lease. So the home inspection and appraisal, that is basically their business. Um, and then it's your home after they have purchased the property and extended the lease to you. So we have a question about if they allow pets and both programs do allow pets. I believe Home Partners allows up to three pets. So a lot of times when you're looking to rent a place, there are um, landlords that don't want you to have pets in their properties. And so this is a good opportunity for you to move into a home that you can settle into with your fur base. Thank you so much for your questions, guys. These are great. Um, and yes, home partners and Landis, they both accept pets. Um, and I'm not sure, Tanya, does Landis also do, like have like a renovation period after they have purchased the property where they will make those repairs kind of like home partners? They do, but it's not specified how long the period will, will be. With home partners, they're very, um, everything is very transparent. So you know that the period from the time that you get started to the time you finish, it's gonna be about 45 days. With land, it's not as clear. Um, that doesn't mean that it's not going to work. It just means that we don't know exactly how long it will be. Um, I will, you know, we will navigate that as agents with our, with our tenant clients to let them know when they should be giving notice to their current landlords. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Um, I don't see any more questions. Um, did you have any more questions directly texted to you, Tanya? No, I don't have any more questions directly texted to me. So, um, oh, I guess. Good question. How soon should a person reach out to begin the process? So, um, a good answer to that question is both programs have to purchase the property that you choose. So that process in purchasing is at a minimum of 21 days. Uh, you actually finding a property <laughs> that can take a while <laughs> in this market. So um, I, would, I would say give that an additional 30 days. Um, and then before that, you have to make sure that you qualify for these programs. So if you apply and there is some work that needs to be done to get you fully approved, then that can add additional time. So, or if you apply and you're a great candidate and you're ready to go, all's well. And you just know that you have to find the property. They have to purchase the property. So give or take, I would say 60 to 90 days is when you should start the process. 
What would you say? To right. Me? Um, I would say maybe 120 days to make sure that you are approved because, you know, I had someone apply yesterday that's waitlisted. I had someone apply today that is approved to move forward. So we just want to make sure that you're approved before we even, you know, get started. Um, if you're not approved, then you have to come up with a new plan. So if your new plan is that you want to rent somewhere else, then that process can take a while too because the rental market is tight, just like the purchase market. So we want to make sure that all of our, our clients, whether they are rent to own or strictly rental, we want to make sure that they have enough time to move into where they are going to be settled in at. So I would say 120 days just to give yourself a little bit of a cushion. Um, so if you want to move in the summer, we should get started now. We can make your initial application, and then we could see if there's anything that needs to be paid down or anything like that. Yep, that's a good answer. <laughs> so, yeah, we're running out of questions, so. <laughs> yes, so this was great. Um, we actually did this in perfect timing. I was thinking we would do 30 minutes or a little under. Um, thank you everyone for your participation and also for sharing this information with someone else. Again, if you are ready to start the process, um, please reach out to the agent that invited you. However, we will also send out a follow-up message right after this um, live. And if that is all the questions we have, I hope to see and speak with you all soon. Bye everyone, thank you for joining us.